Yeah. So next is uh, moving on to the people and digital skills, right? So we, we, I think this is the most important pillar when you uh, jump on to digital transformation. So again, three main areas that you can focus on: hiring the right people, upskilling, and ensuring collaboration. Uh, typically, what we have seen is uh, whether it's SMBs or any other bigger organization who wants to start with their digital transformation, they generally don't have the right team already in place. so it's very important that you ensure or you uh, buy into this and i think that you need to hire more people uh, you need to hire the right people so once you have the analysis done and you can you can probably write a skill gap analysis out of it so if if your major pain area that you have found is say uh, reporting and understanding or making sense of data if this is one of the areas of gap areas that you have found it means you need someone who has an analytics background has probably used google studio or has probably worked with uh, google analytics and adwords uh, has a more math background or has even done good uh, has good analysis skills with uh, excel at least so you can start from that point so understanding the skill gap uh, and then preparing to uh, a hiring plan and putting a budget to it is very important uh, next is interview criteria so the way you hire has to be tweaked completely so if if digital skills is very important for you so you go and you change your entire interview process uh, the questions being asked also need to be changed the goals and kras that are defined when you hire someone also need to be looked into so you completely change your entire uh, uh, the way you hire as well as for what you are hiring uh, as an example if if customer acquisition is a concern you of course need to hire people who understand digital who understand social you might have someone in the team again uh, it means that if it's just an upskilling problem then you look at someone uh, you look at the second pillar but if you don't have someone completely you have to either hire a partner or get a partner agency or start looking or create a advocate or a champion in house to kind of sustain that over a period of time second is upskilling uh, existing teams uh, like like we discussed early on it is important to have a buy in you cannot uh assume that you just hire people from outside with the skill and everything is going to transform overnight you need to ensure that your internal teams get equipped as well because these are people who uh know your organization know your product know your customers better maybe they don't understand digital that well or may not have the skills uh, required for the digital transformation uh, but they understand your context very well so it's important that you upskill them uh, with some external help so one of the help Uh, channels that has been working well for us is always self learning and online aided courses so we invest heavily with uh, and these are simple out of the box uh, tools or on the, uh, out of the box uh, courses that are available online so you take up a udemy or you take up coursera you will find the plethora of information out there and courses that are uh, instructor led with assessments and with uh, with a lot of material and uh, on uh, like an on ground uh, tests that uh, that they make available or experiments that you can run so you can subscribe to a udemy or a coursera out there uh, build that internal uh, team and ensure that you kind of drive it uh, in collaboration with a internal uh, discussion forum so what we generally do is you uh, subscribe to a udemy course say you get your team to subscribe to a, a self learning program on udemy for digital uh, for uh, digital advertising uh, what you also need to supplement it is with internal uh, collaborative approach where you get into sessions every week uh, probably two or three members go through the online course and then they come back they start discussing with each other uh, you take up a, a, some, a small project within the organization and you kind of collaborate on it uh, share your ideas and uh, implement whatever you have learned from the course so it's important that you make material or learning material available for them but also ensure that you uh work internally for a program where they can actually apply that uh the next is internal trainings again something that uh, we think uh, anybody who is looking at a digital transformation should invest heavily into so you either hire internal trainers or you create champions within the team uh, who can then keep running uh just one second i've got a ping which says that it's not uh, am am i audible Yes, Kaitan. Okay. Yeah. So uh, ensure that you put uh, effort into hiring a trainer 
or ensure that there are internal trainings that keep happening continuously so continuous learning uh, especially by department heads or by internal champions is uh, something that is very uh, important uh, again last working with the right partners so now you cannot build everything internally or you will not be able to uh, get a, a, any kind of help always from a self uh, help kind of a program you will want to work with partners who kind of have worked in that industry or have worked with smbs uh, and then it it's a it's an accelerated process when you work with such partners because you can have one champion or one member in the team Uh, who works with an external agency for probably say a six month or a year's period, uh, but picks up all the skills and picks up everything, and then can create that team internally. So your dependency on an external partner is reduced. Uh, but leveraging partners can be one more medium or one more channel which you can use to kind of uh, accelerate your digital transformation for your internal teams. And last is ensuring collaboration. This is I think I hold this very. Uh, a very very important peg in the digital transformation uh, journey uh, is to ensure collaboration so uh, i think something that has worked for us during pandemic we went uh, completely remote uh, we could launch a product like kailas completely remotely build as well as scale and uh, do every every angle that we have done right from uh, hiring or recruiting the sales team doing the sales uh, uh, trainings uh, working collaboratively with the customer success team Uh, to running our pr and advertising campaigns as well remotely so ensuring that there is a collaborative approach and a co- culture of collaboration there where people work in cross functional teams is very important so uh, what we have done or what we have seen works is creating internal knowledge hub and this doesn't mean that you have to create something uh, uh, like a massive scale of information but whatever information is being created or being known to the company it gets documented it's put available to internal stakeholders and there is constant uh, push from hr and from the leadership to uh, ensure that people go read this information there are internal assessments uh, driven from this knowledge hub as well uh, second cross functional teams where uh, what we have tried and which has worked for smbs as well is uh, you kind of build smaller projects uh, so whether you want to run a new you want to do some product innovation you get your marketing team sales teams your product teams all put together whether it's manufacturing or technology you kind of get all of them together and you run a small experiment a project which runs for a period of a quarter uh, but but ensuring that all of them work together uh, definitely helps in kind of accelerating your uh, transformation because they kind of start sharing information and knowledge between each other so someone if someone has picked up say digital advertising the person can actually share that information in a cross functional team uh, which kind of helps someone to optimize product or manufacturing Uh, the more someone gets involved in your digital advertising and starts talking to customers or looks at sentiment or what the market is doing uh, all of that information once they work in a cross functional environment kind of helps the product teams or your servicing teams work better or, or create better solutions for your customers uh, and then use collaborative software so you have collaborative software is available for almost every function now so you have uh, for sales crms you have got something for marketing you have got for project management for servicing uh, including documentation so moving from uh, word docs which are stored locally to going just going online and ensuring that every document is uploaded to a drive like a one drive or a google uh, drive ensures that all of this information gets collect, collected and over a period of time can be made you know, use of so uh, i think we use very heavily microsoft 365 and teams uh, and we have an example at the end also where uh, you can see how what kind of channels and teams uh, uh, conversations we are creating so that we can actually aid collaboration uh, using these small uh, softwares out available out there uh, vinayak do you want to add anything out here i think uh, you covered most of the stuff uh, on the people up front uh, the mindset like i mentioned earlier and also the skill right if you ask someone to do certain things right you need to enable uh, them uh, with the right uh, training and uh, so uh, when you implement something new right so ensure that they are trained first to use that uh, software or uh, process or any tool that you want to integrate and <clears throat> so uh, also after the training so the assessment is also important so most of the time what happens is like we uh, train people as a organization or as a part of digital skill upgrading but 
we don't check how much they have learned right sometimes it needs a refresher uh, trainings because uh, some tools are not that easy like where you are giving virtual tools they they uh, people get better and better when they start using uh, it uh, on a day to day so a refresher training also helps uh, uh, apart from self learning or online or a virtual training so uh, assessment and uh, should be done on like how much they have understood uh, once you train uh instead of like switching to the tool new tool or like so understand like uh, how your training programs are also effective or not